Do you? Ah, oh, damn. It's been a while. Probably. safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Hey, Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button, and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Be extra careful here, Sly. Break one of those. Nice job, you're in. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. Sly, this is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. I was being close. <laughs> I was trying to guess it. It'll be 1, 2, 3, right? If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, right we'll in be there. waiting in the getaway van. I don't think they can hear you either. We'll be old. Well, Criminal! That scene playing, I can probably check. Nope. You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red handed. Uh, uh, I didn't do Carmelita. I haven't seen you I since I gave you the slip and bomb day. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful oh, owner. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah, but I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol oh, packs a paralyzing girl. punch. You ought to try it. Those Might snap eyes. you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. I can't believe I actually just died in the scene. It is well for first sight. She didn't do that much. She was like, I'm going to shoot you. You know what? It's the law of Abigail, so it's fine. It's fine if she does it, if she loves me. I could throw a button. For some reason, I was playing slide two and I tried to run. This 
Let's bring back some memories for me. I remember playing this with my aunt. Because she likes Sly a lot. She would say some weird things about Sly. I was like, what? You can't escape me, Raccoon! Yeah. That's what she'll say, like, oh man, you're so handsome and all that. It was like, I, I guess. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I've been searching for all these years. She also hated Bentley just like you. Because Bentley sucks. No. Okay, he fucking sucks. I don't give a fuck. Bentley doesn't suck. Bentley sucks. You see. Is that you were to play Murray and Sly more? Who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book? The you can't say I'm not true. You better play Murray and Sly more than Bentley. Learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After yeah. all, there's no he's honor, no challenge. He's a, he's a giant himbo. Okay, people. he's sweet and lovely. You rip off a master and criminal, he's gonna shoot you. Right. But Bentley, on the other hand, he's gonna be like, Nah, work is too well, important. I, I have to be a book. science Five lawyer right now. came unannounced to our door. Rude. My that's why, you know, that's why his girl. But the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five I can't say that. Five I can't say that. House until they found the thievious Raccoonus. Sucks. Okay. Our he's a smart dude. I will acknowledge that he's a smart boy. He was a very man. smart boy. They tore the book into but five pieces and split it up. Each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. You want crimes. some tea? I want some tea. Awesome. I'm gonna make some tea. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the thievious raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family- Thank you everyone who is watching this. I do appreciate it a lot. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. I've already plotted a... The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath. A small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 but relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. Now, this is very interesting. The message you just found appears to be some sort of club. I'll decipher it here in the van. Any more clues. The more I have, the easier it'll be to crack the code. 
Are you back? Hold on, Sly. See those searchlights? <laughs> ready to One careless step, oh, okay. and you'll be subjected to a cute to combustion. You done whining? Uh -huh. Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive. I think I have so many stories for this you, game with my aunt. Yeah. That I could talk about it like crazy hours on that. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint that? your progress. Hmm? Nice. Yeah. Like she couldn't make it past this part for some reason. Cause she didn't know she just had to walk forward. She she always complicated it. She always get hit by this guy too, and like god damn it, you hippo. I'm like, that's not hippo. It's a wall, it's more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. The rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. <laughs> Some good jobs I'm doing. Man, just smashing this ground. Getting paid for it. Like they're not actually evil, and you just come out of nowhere and beat the fuck out of them. Well, oh, he's in my way, and I'm trying to get my family heirloom. Not my fault. You wanna guess the password? Guess the password. What do you need password to be? Five. Five what? Quickly, quickly. Five thirteen. Oh, not close. Seven nine two. That's one thing I do like doing. Is just trying to guess it. Get as close as I can. This is the rule. This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Oh. Press the triangle button to use it. Isn't it weird that he's stealing back his whole family? Isn't it weird I just died? Yeah. But is it weird that he's literally just stealing his old family heirloom? In a safe that's not even located in a safe spot. Yeah. It's still leaving his mark. That's something that he stole it back, you know. But why would they leave it out in the in, in the, the open? Yeah, in the open. Why not? You gotta be an evil villain. You gotta make sure you leave things open, mm -hmm. and also tell the person what you're gonna do. As an evil person, Abigail, you're supposed to be like, "Oh, my evil plan is to shrink the fucking universe." Into a glass jar, mm -hmm. so I can make it like that My Little Pony Reddit clip. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna have all the easy access of destroying it by leaving everything out in the open. Yeah. Because in the end of the day, 
I just want you to talk to me for like five minutes. Like the most on maybe you imagine that's all they want is someone really to talk to them. Yeah, suggest. even though they have that's where I'll find fucking it. henchmen and they have but the money to go up there. They're like, no, I want Why? his because attention. I want, I want the hero help. to just to touch me. And I'm just like, well, I think that's what the king said. But okay. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you need two that. more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. They're not heavily so guarded, they're in the open. Impossible part. Fine, but I warned you, I marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's also, your in this game, Sly sounds like you got a fucking code. I just want you to know that. What's the first game? He always saw like he got a code. He's like, thanks. Like something's in his throat. They tried to give him a cool voice, and then they kind of realized that they were really cool enough. Like so the second game, they That'll gave him a cooler you take any voice. Damage. Yeah, I, I got a little, uh, a little cough there. They're trying to give him a deep ass voice, like it sounds like sexy. Yeah, my throat is like a little bit sore right now. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Well, they gave Bentley the most annoying ass fucking. I will destroy you. Better close those front of doors. Voice. Jump and press the square button. That'll slam them shut. Eureka! We're in the engine room. My analysis tells me that if you trace the spinning crankshaft all the way back to its source, you'll find Raleigh's treasure key. Cool. Remember, Sly, hold down the circle button near the blue stealth auras to perform super sneaky thief moves. Super sneaky thief move activate. Form of a super sneaky thief. I don't feel like getting a bottle somehow. No, I'm not, but I feel like I am. Wait, wait, what? I st still have my pudding, but whatever. That's cool.
Time to guess. One, seven. Try two, two, seven. Oh. Interesting. Old Sally Cooper's fast getaway raccoon roll. Stories claim she can move faster rolling than anyone else could on the run. Hold down the triangle button to use this move. Switch between your power-ups using L2 and R2. For a second, I rolled off. Rip.
Always good to go in dark. Whoever thought this code up knew what they were doing. Dial in four three six. Close close. Yeah. These are the blueprints of Raleigh's entire operation. I wonder. Yes, I can wire this info directly into your binocucom. It'll show you the position of nearby clues and breakable objects. reading way off the charts in here. This must be the power source for the storm machine. of mechanical engineering serves me right applying okay. significant rotational torque to achieve yeah, no, maximum fine, velocity fine. will yield a positive result he's, he's loading the air he's loading the air isn't that what i just said without him the air wouldn't be stabilized up a girl probably It's when you drink so much, you can just breathe fire. For, for some reason. Oh well. Wait. I don't feel like making that joke. I'll make it anyway. So we're saying that the safest in a open relationship. I mean, technically, if you look at, I mean, if you look at this bottle, Abigail, mm -hmm. it's already, it's already open to the brim. No. I'm pretty sure it can still get in there. Touch the wall.
I'm gonna take a story about that level. So, oh. We gotta just fucking spit you completely out. This is like, bleh, going back on the ground. I didn't open the safe yet. No. The safe is in the beginning of this level. So it's quicker to just end the level instead of just backtracking all the way. I'm gonna guess it. 517. Oh, it's 579. Wait, isn't the same one as the last one? I don't remember. Oh, it looks similar. I probably am. I wasn't paying attention. Look at this man. Outstanding. He's trying Another to best. From the Phoebus 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 Phoebus. All the things that belong this to him. This one features Dev Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. He used this to get by all kinds of airborne threats. Hit the triangle button while in the air to slow down time. You think he makes those? You think he just sits there on Saturday night with like a cup of coffee or like tea? I feel like they got a 3D printer if you actually give me this question. What do you mean? I feel I like they got a. Paper. I feel like they got a 3D printer or something. And they just make them. Why is it the one made out of paper? If it is made out of paper, they probably have someone else makes them. Yeah. They're like, I need a thousand copies of this. Just one day, him and him and the, him and his himbo friend just sitting there folding them together like a bunch of fucking idiots. Locked up in Bentley over there being like, ooh, nerd. I can make a machine for you if you want. And he's like, nah. Yo, what up, Patrick? Hello. Those rats got pegged. Raleigh appears to have booby trapped in the entire got place. I'm gonna enjoy this. Don't you get it, Sly? If you step on that rug, forget about becoming a master. Don't worry, read it. You'll be a master. You just get to hear annoying Wait a Bentley second. voice. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? I don't He's know. About it looks pretty school. risky oh, I'm sorry. and very unsanitary. Oh, like, they don't read the books for Only you. One way to find out. It's college. I mean, there are some programs that do that for you. You just have to find them. There was like a, I don't remember, there was some guy who suggested a website that uh, basically gives you most of the school books that you can fucking call it. And it is easy to do. I gotta find that video soon. I wish I knew that. I wish I knew that too! I didn't know it was a thing. I didn't find out about it until like a month ago? And I'm not even in college anymore, so... It, it's useless to me. So far, so good. I bet if you stayed still inside the barrel, the guard won't be able to see you, even if he shines his flashlight on you. And then whatever works for you. He definitely flashes Bob's right on there. I just got lucky right there. Yeah, you just want the Mona Lisa one? No, 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 just look at them. I just want you to look at them. Why? I, I already know them. I, I know all of these. They're mean, all frogs. It doesn't They're mean. all sexy frogs, Abigail. Stop. Look You're, at look at that sexy frog. You look at that frog bosom. I, no, no, no. I want you to look at them. and Because not everyone has played this game in their lifetime. Okay? I want you to look at them and take take it in. Take and the let, breath of the bosom no, 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 of the frog. No, no, no. And let the people take it in, too. Because that's the point of view, right? You're supposed to you're supposed to pick out all the odd shit, look at it. You know, you're right. It. Give me a second. Let me go back to it. Mm -hmm. Yo, skeptical. You like the bosoms on this frog? No, but look, look at look at the time and effort this game developer did to put this in this game. He put a frog Mona Lisa, and I don't remember the name of that painting. A frog old lady painting. And, and, a, and a naked bitch who's also a frog. No, look at them, Don. Are you're you just, no, no, you're just jumping around. <laughs> you're you're, you're at just them. jumping around. Not you're even look, no, you gotta take it in, homie. You gotta take it in, appreciate They said frog booba. 
Okay, but you they, they saw it. They noticed the boopa. Oh, oh. See, this is why this is why I can't. You know, you got the, you got too much of that speedrunner gene in you. Or you gotta run around do everything quickly when you don't take the time to appreciate it. I'm not even running around doing things quickly. I'm just grabbing bottles. Whatever. I'm trying to remember where all the bottles are. Whatever, Mr. I fucking run around. That, that's the game, running around collecting bottles. Whatever. You ever play a wrestling game? No, I hate wrestling games. Good. I hate fighting games too. That's Good. because I don't like them personally. They're not fun to me. Good. Because this is a wrestling game back in the days. I think called Dirty No Mercy or something. Uh -huh. It was on PS2. Yeah. Something like that. I, don't, I think it was a No Mercy or something else. Yeah. But my stepdad had it. Oh god, the game worked. My stepdad had it and we used to play it. And I played it with my mom because yeah. he also was like, oh, I want to play the video game also. Yeah. For some reason, because she doesn't like playing video games such as Mario. Mm -hmm. And she played it with us. And like the first time for her playing it, I was playing Rainbow Stereo. He's a wrestler in the game. And all he does is kick in that game. Mm -hmm. So all of his attacks are just kicks. So she got mad that I was kicking her. And she's like, if you kick again, I'm not playing anymore. And I was like, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> Even though all he does is kick. Oh no, I just wanna tell you that story. I thought it was hilarious. Cause that brought me up this for some reason. Come kind of like, I think I played this around her too. Oh no, I played this around my stepdad. He encouraged me to finish the game, so me and him would stay up till like six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Him watch me play this shit yeah. on his PS2. Greatest moments ever. Okay. It's only when my aunt wasn't woke though. He would stay up and it's like, I like this game. I don't care. I think it's fun. No, no, no. My mom only liked Mario. That's so video game, though. Which means she still likes video games. Yeah, but she acts like she, she doesn't at the same time. Well, because she likes Mario. She also likes Sonic. Like, hell a lot. And that's just her genre. Like, her and Ken will get along. Mm -hmm. It's like the same thing with most girls who just like playing simulators. And that's it. We're still playing video games. Yeah. I still don't see how you can play sports video games. Yeah, I don't need to get that either. Only sports video game I used to play was um NBA Jam. Mm -hmm. And the very violent ones called NBA Street and shit. Or Football Blitz. Because my family used to play it too. And it's the ones where you like fucking literally like break the athletes' necks and shit and put them in the comas. It's super violent. But that was some good shit back then. I guess they also count as people who play video games. I don't want to count them because all they play is like Madden or like that. I don't fucking know what the other one they're called. FIFA. I'm just like, Ugh. but it's just soccer. Yeah. It wouldn't be better for you to go out there and actually play actually play the game itself. That's what I always think like, when I see someone play basketball games, like for ten to twenty hours. I'm like, motherfucker, just go go outside. There's like multiple. Gyms. Go play it. There's a wine scene in almost every fucking city. Shit, if we walk around the block, I'm pretty sure we could find a basketball court. I bet there's some kid out there who's like, I really wish I had people to play basketball with. Yeah. I was that kid. <laughs> I'm all little basketball around. Me and my friends just play all the time. But they would just rather play the video game instead. And I was like, oh, okay. Mm. I guess you're still um... I just didn't understand it. 
I'm like, you have the real thing right here in front of you. You can play it right now. Nah, I'm gonna play play the fake one. I can pretend I'm this person then. I mean, that's all mostly it's for anywhere. Just to pretend that you're someone else. Yeah, those make more sense because like, oh, this is money. Because you're Betty. Mm -hmm. like, you're like, see, but at the same time, like, I don't want to judge those people either because like, technically they are still playing video games. And yeah, people work really hard to make those games. But I'm just like, is it worth it though? I somewhat got to Guitar Hero. But when I was playing it, my mom used to call me a white boy for playing it. Which is funny because Rock Music wasn't made by white people. Yeah. It's really weird. Cause like it has nothing to do. Like the the rock genre didn't come from white people. I remember playing um guitar here when it first came out in a uh, fucking Walmart. Cause they used to have the little stands for them. And my mom will come over there every time I was playing it. So I was playing with some other kid, and they're also having fun. She's like, man, you're such a white boy. I was like, okay. okay. Oh, I also almost got the code. I put 520. I mean, not 520, 422. I do like Rock Band. Rock Band was fun. Objects for some fast breaking, fast collecting I was really good at those games, but I did like them. I used to play them a lot with Ken. And I used to watch Ken play them too. Like, I would just go over her house and I would just watch her play Guitar Hero. I didn't have any of the systems for it, though. Because we only had, like, the GameCube. And it was mostly whatever my brother bought. And he didn't really care for us. I remember um, playing with my one friend. We had the video game over the hedge. Oh, really? Like the it, movie one? Yeah, it sucks well, so much. See, it was so I fucking terrible. Like, Shark Tail one also sucks. Yeah. Not gonna tell me I have to shoot myself out of that cannon. I'm afraid yeah. that's the only way. I used to play uh, when anyway, I got my PS2. To get inside that thing, um, you had to I think I was in high school when I got it. Like, I was very late in the game. So what are we waiting for? You show me those But when I got a PS2, my sister in law gave me um, yeah, yeah. a couple and video I'll games. And she gave me to get shot out of that cannon and Helsing. steal back my family. And I played the raccoons. fuck out of those games. Like, the Constantine video game is bad, but it was so good to play. Because I, like, loved the movies. And the video game was kind of scary. Well, to me, it was scary. Because I'm, I'm really bad with scary shit. So I had fun playing that. And especially the Helsing game. The Helsing game was broken, though. Because you could just cheat your way through the whole fucking game. I think that's the bad thing about this type of game. Is that you can literally just cheat your way through everything. But I had fun with them. I thought they were pretty good. I also got like this, um... JRPG, like this really old one, it was called like the Golden Knight or something like that, and it was bad. And I have no fucking clue what the fuck was happening, but it was like an old school RPG game, so it was like really, really like hard to play through. I know you're talking about. And yes, they were also not so many big games. That's crazy. I have no idea. I guess that makes sense. What was that video game where Jack Black was in it? It was like a whole rock music thing. 
Uh, I do not remember. But you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Like, he was like this cool, like, I don't know, he was like overly buff Jack Black in fucking, I don't know, he was like fighting a bunch of shit that was like overly sexualized, but people liked that game a lot, so it's funny. Call it Thought Destroyer on a Nintendo DS. What was I wish I remember the name. I would Google it, but I don't have my phone with me because it's dead. I charge that shit. I always hated this level because I always forget a bottle for some reason. What? That's an ice squid. The squid ball. Rocket power. Oh shit. Also, yes, I did play that. And what's your favorite video game for the Nintendo? My favorite video game for Nintendo? Yeah. Oh, shit. You gotta be an oldie. You can't be a newie. It's a... It's this... It's this Japanese uh, story game that was on the DS. Fuck! It was like something... Fantic... Fantic or something like that. I don't know what it was called. I have to find it. Um, it was it was a, it was a mystery puzzle solving game about this detective who can who can fucking um turn back time for like a day. And his partner was like a 16 year old high school girl who wanted to marry him. And he was like I think he was like in his like early 20s. I don't know the fuck you're talking it's about. It's fucking weird. It was, it was one of the, I bought it, I bought it, when I, when I first got my 3DS, I used to only play Hyrule Warriors and Xenoblade. And so I went onto their market, like when it was still like open and shit, before they closed down, before the Switch came out. They were selling it for like $2, and I bought it, and I liked it so much that I bought the second one, and the second one, it's, it's literally this just a bloody guy and a parent, okay? He just like meet all these fucking people and like all these girls like like him but he did not give a fuck about anything. He was like whatever, I'm just here to solve a mystery. And like his assistant, the secretary is like some high school girl that he like grew up with. And he's like, and he's just trying to mind his own fucking business but this bitch is like, I'm gonna fucking marry your ass. Like I'm gonna be your future wife, you have no fucking say in it. Like it's it's gonna happen. But in the game you have the option to flirt with any girl that comes into your like vicinity, right? Is this Steins Gate? No, it's not Steins. it's like fuck, I gotta find it. I gotta find it was I loved the fuck out of that game. It was fantastic. I sucked at the puzzle part because it was just all puzzles. It was literally like the first game you were like you were like just a f regular detective dude was just trying to figure out shit. The second game is like a prequel to like the first. No, there's three of them. There's three of them. And then like the set. And then the second game is just like it's confusing. All I know is it's a puzzle game. You are a dude that can turn back time. Wait, what ability did I just get? I have fucking no idea. Fuck. I hate this. Oh, I fucking hate this mini game. Also, awesome. but you complicated it way more. I did complicate. I complicate everything. But because I don't even think the same way you do when I play this type of game. Use the right yeah. stick to fire its gun. Well, all I know is I love the hell out of that game. It was fantastic. He ends up marrying the fucking high school and he... Like, he shouldn't have married her, but come on, it's a Japanese puzzle game. What do you expect? Okay, he's gonna- he ends up marrying the high school girl no matter what. Okay, she's like- in the end of the fucking last game, she's like in a whole wedding dress. He's like, fuck it, I gave in. I'm gonna marry the bitch. He ends up marrying the bitch. That's all I fucking have. And I love that game with everything and my fucking being. Because it, the second game got complicated because the second game was even about the detective. It was about a girl who apparently did a science experiment. And she like gets like, she finds out about her past and how they fucking like try to use her as a weapon. It was fucking bizarre. But it was a puzzle game with a weird story. What? You don't get 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 what? You don
gonna get you. Oh, watch that. You get an extra question, I'm gonna answer it. What? No. What does that mean? So you played Hamtaro for JBA, for Game Boy Advance. No, I didn't have a Game Boy Advance. Oh. I didn't even know Hamtaro had a game. I used to watch cartoons. I don't need that wife. The only things I had in my life were a Nintendo 64, a GameCube, and then later on I got a PS2, and then I got a PS3. And they were all hand-me-downs by someone who didn't want them anymore because they're like, I don't play played enough and all I play is FIFA games on it. They literally only play FIFA games on it. And they're like, well, you play video games and you like it, so here you go, you can have this. Yeah. Like, he, like I was given a PS3 right when the PS4 came out. I'm like, I was very late in the game with every type of console. Like, even with the Wii, I, my brother had one. It's time. <laughs> We gotta let him speak. We have a guest. The only thing is, I hate unexpected guests. Listen, Raleigh. Wipe up my family and steal what's mine. You better expect oh, company. Oh, I'm like ever so sorry. How sloppy of me not to finish the job. Obviously, we should have snuffed you out as well. So, without further ado. Let me make amends by what? Bloating to gargantuan size and squashing you like the insignificant bug that you are! Bring it on. Okay, we can go back in you know. I like hearing the bosses speak because they just sound like someone tried their hardest. And also, he just makes a kink joke. Pretty much. Okay. That's it. You can go back. I don't even know what the fuck was Oh. You wanna know what my favorite Nintendo game was? Mm. Contra. What's that? You thought I was gonna say Mario, didn't you? No, what is that? Contra's a side stroll shooting game. Okay, you go right. Oh. I'll play it one day actually. I think it's really fun. And this should be the last bounce. I had a hard time with this guy. To be fair, I have a hard time with everybody. You have a hard time with this guy. I'm just not good at memorizing shit. Because I know that there's all a pattern. I just not good at it. You yeah. beaten me! Yeah, that's my favorite Nintendo game, uh, Contra. I don't finish speaking first. Cooper, you're no match for Mugshot, my villainous cohort in Utah. You see, Mesa oh, City is like... so well guarded, a snake Dance couldn't slither point. in without setting off alarms. <laughs> Raleigh section of the Why does it so different the cutscene? instructions on how to perform my ancestor Because these are animated. Ninja Spire Jump. So the technique he developed while sneaking into the thick and fortified like castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox. Also, is our voice louder than the game? By me, busted Raleigh and his crew. Man, why did they ruin her in the other games? She looks so cool. With the storm machine out of commission, boats found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather, and then headed back home, excited for our next heist. I took the liberty of pinning your mission map up on the wall. We're all set to go to Mason. I'm sorry, I'm not doing any of the time trials. I don't feel like doing time trials. I will collect all the bottles. It's been a while since I've been back in the U.S. Hmm? Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle. Hey, I got a list of on mugshot. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. 
He grew up as the run of the litter. Rude. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly mm -hmm. that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working really oh. hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. Oh, he threw away his little hat. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. Again, I want to play at this moment is wet. I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. What? Wet. What's that? You ever heard of wet before? So it's a game about this one girl who's a badass yeah. and she does shit. Yeah. Look it up. It's, it's a real game. It's real. It's really fun. It was on PS3. Shit, they probably got on this right here. Because of all the blood. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you well, say yeah, we take off? Miss all the fun. Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the theater. Only because it me. You mean the what? ninja spire jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land us safely upon diminutive points, Libreth lively and presses the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. I think you should get it. Get the game and play it. You probably will like it. I'm waiting until February 4th just so I can play Dying Lake 2. I want to get the new Horizon game. It comes out next month. What four games come out next month? Yeah, I know, but we're not going to have I'm not going to have any money. I know you probably will, but I will. Oh, I, I saved some just so I can get this game. I made sure I had enough just so I could buy this game. I've been waiting for this game for two years. You think I wouldn't save money for it? <laughs> I just killed myself. <laughs> Thank God this game was too generous back then. So I was supposed to die right there, but I still have frames of invisibility, so it didn't count for me dying. Also, I also hate that this level part will just intro. So I always forget one bottle once again. Let's see if I still have that childlike memory. I forget that one bottle. You know what you should play, Pat um, Patrick? The new Crash Bandicoot. You would enjoy it. It's really fun. The latest in high tech security. Electronic floor Trust me. You will love it. And you're a gutter. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch. I got so angry at that sector. fucking game. <laughs> I won't say I didn't like it, because I did love it. It just pissed me off. Why? Like like I know. This game impossible, but it's all for you, the longtime fans that are now in their like late twenties, early thirties. I feel honored. Just for you. Well, don't start with Crash Bandicoot, because didn't that be your last platformer you ever played? Trust me.
that thing's really fun. I wish I could play that on the stream. I'm not sure if I can. Is it there a censored version of it? Uh, should be. I think the game already has censors in it. I would love to play some co-op, Catherine. I've only seen you play. Yeah. No. I know I've seen other people play it too. I probably don't understand the game. This is a puzzle game. Well, I mean, the story I meant. Oh, it's about this guy who's really nervous about having a child and also being married. Isn't he just a scummy asshole, though? No, not really. It depends on what you pick. Because, like... Because for the normal thing, he's not a scummy person. It was a sucky best fuck with him the whole time. Spoiler alert. I thought he was just a scummy person. I'm gonna stop now because there's way more. And I don't want to spoil it for Patrick because I'm not sure if he finished the game yet. Because, oh. mm -hmm. like, I know when I watch people play it, he just seems like a very, like, low-life person. No, it all depends on what you pick. Okay. Because I'm just like, he seems like a dick. Wow, super nice guy. Have you finished the game yet? can't tell me the other route. So wait, have you finished all the routes or you only finished one? Oh, well I already know all the routes. I was just trying to make sure I didn't spoil it for you. When I was trying to tell Avi about it. I know, it's, it's a lot of different routes. It's with the new Catherine, aka Catherine, Catherine, and Catherine. Hmm? Doesn't he have a general girlfriend in the Succubus? Yeah, his real girlfriend is Catherine, and then there's Catherine, and then there's the new girl who's also Catherine. For the new stuff that came out. I fucking, I knew it. I did it. Got one? Yep. This already happened in this fucking level too. It's always happened. This level every single time. If I just stay quiet, I could have made it, played it off like I knew it was there. Mm -hmm. And I had to backtrack for it. But no, I, I completely forgot about it. Would I like the new Catherine? Press the circle to enter the vault code. I don't know much about it. I have not seen it. I've seen only part. I've only seen some gameplay of the game. But probably like, but it was like years ago, so I haven't seen like the new shit. Cause I know he has a general girlfriend, and then he has to sit with his girlfriend. And then he gets to like friends who are like trying to console him. Mm -hmm. I also kind of like the idea that he meets up his friends at a restaurant. And he just oh them. no, I remember the why you liked it. It's cause the waitress I told you about the end. The waitress? Yeah. Cause I was like, you like that waitress? You're like, yeah, I like her a lot. Why? I'm like, that's a guy. You're like, oh my god, I love it even more now. Was it? I had yeah. to look at the game again. I I just remember me watching you play and then watching a couple other people play. I think I watched someone else play too. I watched Ken play it, I think. I think I watched Ken play some of it. I can't remember for sure. It's been a really long time. Wait, Ken played Catherine? I think she did. I'm looking at someone else. Because I remember going to someone's house and watching them play like this part where like he's like a sheep. And, like he's like climbing up this that was me tower. was that you once okay, again because i'm pretty sure i'm the only one who played catherine <laughs> near I you know, i don't know who i don't know i remember watching someone else play it too but i don't think it was her i somehow always die at the end i noticed 
It's because I get super distracted and I just look off into the distance like an idiot. Why are the lights back? Because I died. Last year was your favorite Nintendo. We got some new one. What's your favorite PS PlayStation game? Um, for PlayStation, it can I, be one, two, three, or four. My top one that I've been really no, no, just one and two then, because three and four is the newer ones and five. So we have put those in a okay, different category. Okay, so the, the newest first or the oldest, oldest first? Okay, the oldest. Uh, since I was very late in the game, I would say. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only That's PS3. We're on PS1 and 2. Get on out of here. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Well, I didn't play them on PS. On the PlayStation or whatever the fuck. Um... Oh, I, no, I uh, Final Fantasy X. Uh, I played, I played it on the PlayStation Two because I guess you could, but I had to get a, what was it? I had to get something for it to play it on there. What was it? But yeah, I had like I got the disc set for it, but I could never finish it because the second disc was scratched the fuck. Uh, so I remember playing the first disc. On places in two and having like, a shit ton of fun with it, and then when it came on the switch, I ended up finishing it. But that would be my favorite, my oldest favorite um, PlayStation game. Final Fantasy, not Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy IX. I mean, with the, that monkey guy in the uh, VV. Uh, I think after that would be okay, Skyrim so what do I do? because that was my favorite fire for him without blasting Those are two. Sweet. Use the left yeah. analog stick to aim. And then the latest one the at the moment. To fire. I'll do my best. I don't know. I don't know what would be my latest one. Speed pick a two speeder. I give other people turns to pick theirs. Okay, so you wanna know my favorite PS like PlayStation 2 slash PlayStation 1 games were. So, my favorite PlayStation 2 game has to be Sly Cooper still. Yeah. Cause I love this game way too much to say it's not. I fucking hated these missions though. Huh? This is when Murray was super scared. This when he's like, oh man. I'm too weak to do this because I'm afraid. He's like the strongest fucking character out of everyone. Yeah. Ooh, I almost hit Murray. If I hit Murray, it would fucking fail the mission. I had to do it all over again. Not just me trying to go quick for some reason. I don't know why. I just don't want to fuck this mission up because I don't want to start from the beginning again. I always hate starting from the beginning on this mission. As this tricky was hella fun, but I played it on the Nintendo. Like, I never heard of SS Tricky. You never. Oh, it's a snowboarding game. It's oh, never mind. So, I know what you're talking about then. It's so fun. I love that. I was bad at it, but I loved that game with everything and my fucking bean. I never knew what little planet, little big planet was about, but I always wanted to play it as a kid. Okay, so I think my favorite PS3 to PS4 game. Fuck. I, I will say the new Crash Bandicoot was my favorite PS4 one. Even though I hated the fuck out of it. Yeah. Because out of all the PS4 games, the ones I only played was like old Ratchet and Clank games. But I really didn't care about the new one that was just a remake, but felt better. 
I'm dead. It's still Skyrim. I hate when I do that. Skyrim and the Saint Rose games are fun. Oh fuck! I love Saint Rose. That was that the Saint Rose games made me so happy because I can customize my character completely, and I used to like make her. I used to change her a lot. I really like those games. But I only made it to like I haven't played the last one yet. Uh Persona 5? Nah, still. It'll be the Crash Bandicoot being my favorite. I'm already getting to start games, but they seem so long. Right? You know actually I changed my mind. But my favorite game for PS2 wouldn't be Sly Cooper. It'll be Duff Jam, Fight for New York. I'll play the shit out of that game. Way more than this. Murray, what's going on down there? Well, I drove to this hot dog stand for a quick snack. I always fucked this up. You know, Do I have a face on it? Yeah, by these on gangster it. dogs. Is there a key in it for the winner? Yeah, I never noticed that. Three times around the track for a key. It's like all you, it. man. Drive the van with the left analog stick. And if you manage to pick up any nitro power-ups, you can get a boost by pressing the square button. Go get him. I'm on it. I always hated this mission because I don't remember how what my buttons are. I'm pretty sure I already lost this race. Oh, it's not that good in this. real quick. Thank you for noticing me. My favorite Wii game? Mario Galaxy. Easily. I'm a basic bitch. We resort. You know the Game Boy? You ever had a Game Boy before? No, I never did. Damn. I was gonna say, what's your favorite Game Boy game then? There was this weird... Was it this weird music game that was on the Wii? Yeah, I got second. Those crummy dogs are pumping me right and left! She's supposed to get back in there and bang them back. You need that key. Because all you do is make music. I have my favorite Game Boy game. It was Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. And I played the remake of it last was year. Was it four swords on the Game Boy? I do not remember. I, remember I think it was on DS. Was it? Because I know there's like a new version and then an old version of it. That one, you probably have to look up. I think right now the only DS game I want to play again is probably Dream Team. It's another Mario Luigi game. Where's the turn based RPG shit? So I love those for some reason. I hope they do. I think that was a good one. They actually did that. Isn't that a... 
in that membership thing would be a lot more worth it. Yeah, since being the normal price you'll pay for like a PS subscription instead. Because like I really, really want to play Ocarina of Time, but it doesn't look any good in it, so I don't want to play it. Oh, did I just lose? Because I bumped. I think I just lost because I bombed. Yeah. yeah. I always hated this mission. Those dogs are me right I feel like I'm doing good, but well, I'm never doing good enough. We need that key. Also, uh, I only played one Pokemon game from the old school shit. And that's the only one I liked was this first gen stuff. It, it was mad that I was getting it first. I knew it. Sony's against me. I don't know why that just froze for a second, though. It's gonna fix itself. It gotta fix itself. I bought a Cthulhu game that I thought I would enjoy. I was enjoying it. It was on P. It was on PC. Um, I think it, I think it's literally it's literally called Call of Cthulhu, and I got it for like ten bucks on Steam. And I was really excited about it, and I was really enjoying it. But there's like this boss, weird boss fight thing where you have to like this Cthulhu character comes out of a painting, and you have to like sneak around it, and like stab the painting to summon it back into the painting but i got so stuck in that game that i rage quit and i never played it again <laughs> so the worst money i ever spent because i was really enjoying it and in the end i couldn't even beat it oh and code bank oh uh, <laughs> you know game. fuck why you gotta remind me of that game code that's bank. the only game that i rage quit on that i was like fuck it i'm not coming that back to was, it that game was so fun but the fact that it was like a weird um uh, Fuck, the fun fact is that they just want to fuck you all the time. That's yeah. all it is. Because it's like a weird, uh, what is the game? This Dark Souls. Dark Souls inspired, it's a Dark Souls inspired game. But the game is really fun to play. It's just that fighting everything repeatedly and trying to get through things and the boss fights were just fucking terrible. You get a limited amount of heals, you get a limited amount of every fucking thing everything. there is. And then they just fuck you. And you have to be so good at dodging. It's going to be so fucking good at dodging at everything. It just fucking murders you. All I can remember is that one boss we had a hard time on that just kept one-shotting us. And we were like, we're not high enough level for this, even though we're level fucking 60. Like, even if you're, like, the max level, you fucking still can't. It's so fucking bad. Are uh, you talking about Spider-Man games right now? Oh. Uh, I have this one that was on Super Nintendo. Spider-Man Carnage. Or is this called Carnage? Best Spider-Man game I ever played. I will recommend it. There's also one on PS2 I played? No, it was on my PC when I was like younger. It was really shitty and old. But that Spider-Man game had it all. It had Venom as a playable character. Nice you job, fought against Wolverine yeah. and shit. Well, it's fucking dope. Mugshot's got those machine gun toting dogs hunting like a pack. <laughs> I forgot how to do this. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm just I'm just admiring the dogs and suits. Of course. Cause they look so nice. They look like they're like ready, you know. I forgot to do slow motion jumps. I hope this cigar should be poking out of the garbage can. That's dangerous. Or those are be ashtrays. Ashtrays. The times where fucking video games can get away from your shit, even though this game was made for kids. Oh, one hundred percent. That's so funny to me. A lot of people forget that these games were created for children, and they'd be like, no. Fuck the kids, they don't need this. I need this more. 
I do find that funny when you play grown ass people are like, this is not a kid game. It's like, but it was. It literally was a kid game. And you can't tell me it wasn't a kid game. They literally created this game for children. Then here go my grown ass playing it. I get I, it up and go. No, 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 no. There's nothing wrong with it. Because, like, it's more like the older generation that, like, plays this type of games. They, like, make it seem like this game wasn't made for younger children. Like, it was. There's nothing wrong with that. They just defend it to the point where it's like, it was made for me. And I'm like, look, you were a kid when you played this. So, at the end of the day, you, you were still a kid. This game was created for you when you were a child. But it, it aged think, well. I think a lot of video games were made for kids. I mean, all of them were. Because how graphic it is, and how the fucking adult humor is in it. Yeah. So I understand when people get mad about it. So I was like, yeah, it makes more sense. But at the same time, there's like no reason for you to get, for them to get mad about it. It's like, if gen their, their general audience was children. Yeah. But then again, that's like, just the great best thing about games too. So you're just like, well, I aged with it. If I have to like, oh, I mean, a oh, like, good thing about it, the creators of this game acknowledge the fact that their fans grew up with it and they want more of it because like hopefully they'll make another one i still want them to make another sly they they need to make another slide because the way they ended the last one was just too much of a cliffhanger yeah. but who knows if uh, they're ever gonna do it i wish they'd make a better version of teen titans <laughs> The cartoon or the games? The cartoon. Hey, you know how Teen Titans used to be. They made a live adaption of it. Was it good? I don't know. I think a lot of people liked it. Because it, it, they're still... I don't know if they're still making it, but they made a couple seasons of it. Like, so I kind of how Teen Titans go. I don't think it's that great. Teen Titans go such a Hmm. What do you say? Teen Titans Go was really good. Teen Titans Go? Well, not Go. I meant like the regular Teen Titans. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just so used to saying Teen Titans Go because it was so popularized by younger kids. But to be fair, the show was meant to be a joke. Like, even the creators make fun of that while they're in the show. Like, the voice actors even make fun of it. And they're the original voice actors. Yeah. Cause they like make constant episodes making fun of the fact that they're back but in a terrible version because i guess they're based because they made comic books to go with it too i forget what i'm supposed to do right here yeah but i forgot how to do that was this this way yeah i guess that's what i find so funny about two things go is the fact that the creators Wait, plus the voice would, actors are like were there supposed to be bottles in here though i remember it used to be bottles oh no all, everyone has their own rights to like whatever they want i'm just saying for me i just didn't enjoy it i mean i guess that's the point though i don't think it was really supposed to be enjoyed by like the older generation yeah because that's why they make fun of it. That's why they're like, oh, we're gonna get cancelled again. Because <laughs> they're always threatening to cancel. But the younger kids liked it. I, I just thought it was funny when like the, that show came out and like the older people just got pissed off. Like, I was one of them too, but then after a while watching a couple episodes, you're like, oh, they're just making fun of themselves. That's the point. They're just literally making fun of themselves. Yeah. Because at the time, that other show came out too. Um, what was it called? It was like a. a it was like a. Justice League cartoon? I don't remember what the fuck it was called. The Justice League? No, no, no. It was like. I know what you're talking about. It's the cartoon version of it. With what's your name or something? Yeah, where they like rebranded the Teen Titans and they like retold the story and everything. It was like a really serious cartoon. Like a fucking super serious cartoon. Yeah. But that was that was playing while Teen Titans Go was happening too. It was like in the late stages of it. And they were like they did a crossover of it and how like fucking stupid it was. I do remember though they met their original selves for Teen Titans Go. Mm -hmm. It was like 
made a whole serious joke about that too. About why the fuck happened to them? Yeah. They're like, what the fuck? Why? Why? Why are we them? I was like, yeah. Why aren't you them? But that was why like. Couldn't you beat them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I guess that's I guess that's like the point because like the younger kids don't understand that. That's why. It's, that's why like, that show was like so that, successful. I, I do understand why they do this stuff too. It literally is for the younger kids. Because how do you get more audience to like it? Because you get the younger kids to watch it. But they would, like, make There's more younger than they're older now. Yeah, and they would like make adult jokes on that fucking show too. But again, it, it was just mostly for like, the parents that were watching it with their kids. Man, like, with no, the we know, motherfuckers. Like, we know this looks stupid as fuck. But, <laughs> what the fuck do you think we're supposed to make money? Nah. So I think that's the that's the why that show was so successful is because they were literally a sad guy okay. of their own show. Best friend Cooper. I still want to get HBO Max, but I know I should. I probably shouldn't. <laughs> Roulette wheel is spinning too fast to jump counterclockwise around it. You'll have to jump in the other direction to try to land on the green section. Oh god, I missed it twice. What's wrong with me? I'm missing a stage. So I remember this one annoying stage. And that's usually where I remember I missed a stage. I did this one. Snack. No. And the next thing you know, I'm getting Daddy all stages in this room? By these gangster Daddy dogs. Dogs. Daddy all stages in this room? Yeah. Three times around the track for a key. Oh, yeah, I know I did this one. The left analog stick. And if you manage to pick up any nitro there was four in this room and three in the other. By pressing the square button. Go get them. I'm on it. I hate you can't switch cutscenes. Uh, there you go. He's over there on the couch. Oh, he's trying to sit, stand, and sleep at the same time. It's like he's in between the cushions. Stretched out. Oh no, I got all of them. Okay. I did four levels already? I guess so, yeah. This game is actually not that long. I mean, it is when you're new. Yeah. So that did take me so long. Yeah. I was getting, you were new though. Yeah. You didn't know all the stuff. I don't remember going through this stuff. Is that sad that I don't remember doing this casino run? Really? Yeah, I don't remember doing the casino That's like the most memorable thing to me, besides um, Vanessa. Is her name Vanessa? Miss Ruby, that's what it was. This is Miss Ruby, is like the most memorable one for me. They did for hot dog, Patrick. That dog just died in slow motion. I forgot when you drop those cars, it makes it sound like you actually hit someone at the bottom because someone dies. So add on to my kill list, I also kill innocent people once more. 
Oh yeah, the music and slide games are always awesome, dude. Just wait till you see slide two. Like, holy shit. My favorite song is in that one. Yeah. I heard barking and it's lagging. This PlayStation now can't count this shit. Yeah, I love that. The sound that I just fucking murder someone super far down. Why are there cars hanging from magnets anyway? This high on the roof? Hmm? Probably. It also would make sense. What are you talking about? They're anamorphic animals, they only make sense. Oh, this is the level where I thought bottles came out. Because it comes out of this. Yeah. Yeah, I remember country bottles, I think. I just wish PlayStation now didn't lie because everyone was in a while. I mean, it's doing way better than it used to be. Because I remember trying to play this game actually on my PS4 and it would just crash constantly. And I was like, why is this crashing when you're supposed to be the better fucking console for it? I don't feel like I forgot the bottle somewhere, once again. Stage alone, super sick. Yeah. I got stuck on the corner, can jump up. Don't know why. You remember the safe was? Hmm? I have no idea. I completely forgot where it was at in the stage. Is that the stage entirely? Yeah. I love having the fast movement thing. I just. This is fast now. I just wonder if it's up here. I could also just be wrong. It could have been in the beginning. 
like right in our face from the start. Seven thirteen. Easy. To figure this one out. Dial in four six eight. Nope. You found the blueprints for mugshots additions to Mesa City. With these files, I'll be able to help you find all his clues and breakables. Just look through your binocucom to get the information. that up. Hello, Bubba. My merge is that fragile. I thought there was a bottle out here. There was nothing at all. I was hated those.
Well, I missed that one completely. Now I'm gonna kill myself. Just to get it. That sucks. I missed it again. Oh my fucking god. I'm gonna use all my lives just to get this one bottle. So I don't care. Catch you later, man. circle that's cool This code is my nine. Sleep. The combination Whoa. is five six five. Oh, yeah, this will come in handy. It's Suzanne Cooper's notes pertaining to water safety. With this knowledge under your belt. You won't have to waste a charm whenever you fall into water. step up that big mug shot who knows yuck these rooftops are filthy well they are the only way to get to the key since my locator tells me it's in a jewel case somewhere near mug shots penthouse Well, 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 look who just walked into my crosshairs. Sly Trooper. About time you showed up, Miss Fox. 
was getting worried about you. Thought you took a wrong turn somewhere back in Paris. The only one making wrong turns is you, Sly. I'd suggest you surrender before I paralyze you with my good friend, the shock pistol. Now see, a girl whose best friend's a firearm's got issues. A little dinner, a little dancing. I think I can help you out. Hmm, sounds romantic. As long as you don't mind dining in jail. Nah, I hear the service is lousy. Once I He's catch right. you, you'll know for yourself. <laughs> Down. I miss a bottle somewhere. Hunt you down, Cooper. You can't run forever.
Good thing I know Navajo code talk. Try five, three, two. Aha! Uh -huh. It's Sir Andrew Cooper's thief replica technique. He used to make fake stand-ups of himself to confuse guards into attacking the wrong thing. Use the triangle button to put together a fake Sly Cooper. Looks just like me. Attack the fake Sly Cooper. Oh, it wasn't me. Every time I start recording. Fascinating. Huh? My x ray detection devices reveal that a secret elevator to Mugshot's penthouse is contained within that giant head. So, how do we get in? Behind this locked wall, there's a lever that summons the elevator. I like how I forgot to do the step thing for it completely. I'm on it. Believe you know it's already done. have been yapping about some big mysterious dude running around cracking skulls and <laughs> and and this is it you're the monkey wrench in my operation some scrawny rat with a stick right. wait a second i seen that stick before maybe when my father knocked your block off with it your father wow you're a cooper you know, that thing is Rakamagookus had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big ways. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why, <laughs> what, are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joint, I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock! I feel transgressed and violated. Coming from the guy who... Already does the same shit. I don't care. Okay, I'm not gonna use the fast one. I feel like I gotta go fast. I don't, don't know why I'm doing that to myself. Upstairs.
this is impossible. Easy. A little pipsqueak like you beating a big video? strong bruiser like me. Huh? Why are you right. You Why want not? all of that stupid picture book? You're going to have to go down to Haiti and cross paths with Miss Ruby. And then believe you me, you don't want to be you. I look so happy. Mugshot section of the Phoenix Raccoons contain an entry for my gun. You're injured. Haha. <laughs> Tennessee Kid Cooper. His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the old west. Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing and dragged that canine steroid case off to jail. That was the end of Mugshot's gambling Fox empire and Mesa City citizens collar. soon returned home. While me Man, and the, the boys, newspapers are well, so we enjoyed the rest of our her. stay in America and then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. I think that's a good point to stop off on. I'm just gonna stop here. Thank you everyone for joining me. I hope you had a great time. If you like the videos I send out, make sure you follow. We're so close to being affiliated. And once we get affiliated, there's gonna be some nice, awesome stuff that happens in the end. Anything else you wanna say? Follow our Instagram, our TikTok, our Twitter, and we also have a Discord. Yeah, if you do estimation point Discord, it will take you straight to a Discord channel where you can join. We sometimes have movie nights and video nights where we watch Sonic X and other movie videos. So if you want to watch them with us, come and join. But for now, goodbye. See you later. Hope you had a good day. And don't forget to click that follow button. Bye.